welcome back to my channel. I like musicals, they're a big part of my life, and today I'm going to be talking about Starkid again because, number one, I really like Starkid. And number two, I didn't know what else to film, and I was like, why not film a Starkid video? You like Starkid? Other people like Starkid? What's not to like? So let's jump into it. Brereadith is real, guys. For those people who don't know, Brereadith is the ship name for Brian Holden and Meredith Stepien. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, yeah, they got married. If you don't know who they are, Brian Holden was in Holy Musical Batman. He played Superman. He was in Firebringer. He played Smelly Balls. Yes, that's the name of the character. Meredith Stepien was also in Firebringer, playing... I've forgotten her name. Lauren plays Zazalil and this is so bad. I literally watched Firebringer last week. <sighs> Give me a second. I clicked on the Star Kid Wikipedia. Her name was Jamila. I don't know why I couldn't think of that because that was extremely frustrating why I couldn't just think of her name. But yeah, she played Jamila in Firebringer, she also played Sherazad in Twisted, she was also Hermione in a very plotted... I know she was in Senior Year, I'm not sure if she was in the sequel or not. I want to say not, though. But yeah, they got married, it seemed like a very nice ceremony, and I wish all the best to them. Who was irritated by the misleading thing on John Matteson's Instagram? I'm gonna put the image here um oh my god I was shocked like I was shook shook when I saw it I was like oh my god because I saw the photo and I was like oh my god they look so good in that photo and then I was also like oh my god is this real and I was like low-key excited I was like okay I'm there for it and then I was reading it I was like I don't think this is real but I really hope it is and I was just scrolling and I was like not real and I was sad but at the same time I was like I kind of expected it to be so it wasn't that bad but like who else wanted that to be real because I did <laughs> I did so badly <laughs> so if you watched my last video which I'll link in the description I talked about what Starkid shows I've seen and if you saw the little edit in the corner it said that I watched Firebringer whilst I was editing, and I did. I enjoyed it, I thought it was good. I liked, I've forgotten her name. I think her name's Lauren in real life, but not Lauren Lopez. All hail the queen. Um, but yeah, I watched it. I liked her. She was like the narrator one. I wonder if she was like, auntie something, grandma something. That's just mogul. Ah. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the title of the character just there and let's be honest I probably got it very very wrong I found her character quite interesting I liked Kiri she was a joy I thought Shroopsy would be in it more honestly from what I'd seen of Firebringer it's like always got Shroopsy in it whenever it's about Firebringer it's Shroopsy, Jamila and Zazalil and sometimes Oh, I'm so bad with names. Joey Richter's character in the show. It's not there. But yeah, I was really surprised because Emberly, she was like a main character. And then, and then Shroopsy was literally not in it. Like, she was in like one section where she told one joke. And then she literally told no more jokes throughout the whole show. And that shocked me. I really thought she was going to be like a main character. And that she was going to say Shroopsy more than she did. But that shocked me, like, to the core. Who's excited for Black Friday? I am. I'm still wondering who they're going to cast for all the different parts because obviously Mariah has to drop out because she's doing Mean Girls on the US tour. I did mention that in the last video, but I just wanted to say it again because it's more relevant to Black Friday now because they pretty much confirmed that she's not going to be able to do the show. But I wish all the best to her because a lot of people have said that basically 
she doesn't deserve it because she's not experienced enough and let me tell you that's far from the truth you cannot judge someone by how much experience they've had because someone could be the best singer in the world and you'd never know because they just haven't come out of their shell to say it so to mariah you're gonna do great i guarantee it I'm gonna miss you in black friday but they'll survive they'll still make a great show with or without you i actually said this in my last video but you never saw it because i must have accidentally deleted it when editing because i remember filming it and editing it and then when i went to post it it just disappeared and i didn't notice that till after i published it so i'm gonna say it now does anybody else watch star kid youtubers the ones i watch that i can think from memory are bread roll pa x and lauren Mannion. those are like the three that i watch but does anyone else watch them and but hasn't actually seen all the star kid shows like there's so many parts from like a very pretty musical or the sequel or senior year or a and i or shows that i've never seen that i actually just know bits like the joe walker dance sequence in a and i i feel like a lot of people know that but then the i've fallen from high the world has said goodbye i don't know any of the words other than that just because when like they rank the songs or the shows they always use that clip and they always use the same section of that clip so i always just know that bit all i've gotta get back to hogwarts I've gotta get back to school I've gotta get back to hogwarts i don't know any more words yeah or and I don't know any of the words to this, but Joe Walker in his pink dress, I want to say in the sequel, probably in a very Potter sequel, but yeah, him as Umbridge, oh my god, him doing stutter, so good, like all these, rude, rude. But yeah, all these iconic parts of these shows that I've never seen, but just know because like they rank the songs. So I was just looking through my YouTube recommended and I saw a video from Kick Your Head, who is a Starkid YouTuber for anyone who likes Starkid YouTubers. And she basically made a compilation um, of Joey Richter talking about his blueprint trail to Oregon the actual blooper and the way it was meant to sound, just if anyone was interested in what I'm talking about here. But I'm just gonna sum it all. So Joey Richter plays most of the characters in Child Oregon. He multi-roles a lot during that show. And at one point he is the general store guy and an ox at pretty much the same time. And he messed up the words the words do go very fast so i don't really blame him but he was actually filming whilst they were doing this so you see it and people don't know the lyrics to the song independence because of this like i don't i just know his his lots to learn ho 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 ha ox like me like I only know that i don't know the actual lyrics to the song i wonder if anyone else is like this because I want to know if people are um comment below if you are the same that you don't know the lyrics to certain songs because of mishaps all the characters have made but yeah i just found that so funny how i don't actually know the words because of that blooper i didn't actually talk about this in the last video but someone commented on the video about little white lie i've not seen little white lie and i would love to because first of all darren chris is in it it's great uh, and second of all Lauren sings boy toy which is probably the worst and best song ever written in star kid history it's a bit like a seven-year-old wrote it but like on purpose and it's great that was probably the worst explanation of that song ever but if you have not listened to it please do I advise you because <laughs> I mean boy toy boy toy you know you're my favorite boy best lyrics of all time let's be honest star kid homecoming do i need to say anything else other than 
it's beautiful. I was not there in person, but it seemed beautiful. And I watched Darren Chris's Instagram stories about them. That was probably as much as I saw, but yeah, that's all I needed to say with that. I'm just gonna go on a quick rant about the guy who didn't like musicals because I really like it and it's just some things that I wanted to say about it. So an opinion is that Jamie Lynn Beatty, yep, that's her name, don't forget it, who plays Charlotte in the Guide and Light Musicals, her character is quite annoying. I agree, but I think she's meant to be. Like, her whole character is the worrying, annoying, lonely wife. Yeah. And I think that the way she's written kind of causes her to be annoying. So don't hate on Charlotte because she seems like a really nice gal if you got behind the the reality of her sadness. Cory Doris, underrated. Underrated. Like, come on. Give him a part. Give him a good part. Please. He got one solo line in the Guide to My Musicals. One. How is that fair? Like one singing line. Give him more than that. Fuck. It's one. Can we turn this up to two or three? Or maybe just give him the main part in the next one. Please. People are gonna hate me for this. I'm already aware because I'm gonna share some unpopular Starkid opinions with you guys. And there's just two and they're both about Mariah. Not about her herself because obviously she's an amazing bean, but they are about things that she says and does in the diary. The die? Well, they all die. Spoilers! Well, not all of them. Most. Well, 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 well. I don't know. Let's get back on track. So, um, the guy didn't like musicals. Mariah, first of all, is amazing. Don't get me wrong. I love her. However, people who find the theatre kid line funny i just didn't understand i found it more relatable than funny it's the god damn it emma now i've got to go and make a tea with honey okay oh my god that line i didn't find it funny and i don't understand why people did but i get it i understand i i feel like that sometimes i don't really like tea and honey but i i get it but i didn't find it funny people are probably going to kill me for that because i think people love that line i just didn't understand i didn't understand what made that funny like i understood it i got it i got it it's relatable i know i know but yeah i'm not trying to hate on it i'm really not i like that the line is there i just don't understand the comedy based around the line if people get me yeah and secondly not your seed i'm afraid to share this one to be honest i'm not the biggest fan of not your seed don't get me wrong it's a good song it's good i know that i love like the backing and the mariah obviously slaying in the song but yeah people really like that song it's not a favorite People are wondering what my favourites from the Guide and Musicals are. They are Showstopping Number, obviously, because it's Showstopping Number. Show Me Your Hands, because three-part harmonies and Mr. Mannion as, <laughs> as Police Sirens. Best thing ever, pretty much. There's so many. I like La Di Da Da Day. That's great, too. And the cup of roasted slash poisoned coffee i like both of those because they're three part harmony as well but yeah i just it's not the worst song in the show i don't think there are particularly any bad songs and to those people stop hating on what do you want paul it's a funny song it's meant to be weird oh, that's the whole point stop hating on it all the people that don't like it because i see you yeah it's not it's not a bad song in any way like i still like the song i still sing the song a lot it's just people love it and i just like it don't come for me please please 
because I smell them. Little thing about Twisted, I didn't realise the first time round that it's based off Disney and Pixar. Well, obviously I got the Disney part. I got that it's all about Aladdin and that. However, I did not click with Pixar and Pixar until like the second time, third time round watching it. Just did not click at all. Just kind of bad. Is it? I don't really know. One of my favourite Star Kid twists was the Aladdin reflection twist from Twisted. There's a lot of twists in Twisted. Twist. 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 <laughs> Getting distracted. But yeah, um, I found that Jeff Blim executed that very well. His whole thing with it being his reflection was really interesting and I do commend Jeff Blim as an actor I think he is a very strong actor and people just see him as a comedian within his acting however I think that really proved that he can do more like there was the whole comedy aspect of that scene but I was slightly freaked out by evil Aladdin and I sort of loved it so you know i thought i'd finish this star kid video off in a bit of a different way by asking you guys a question hoping you leave your replies in the comments and my question is how did you find star kid and why did you keep watching i'm just really interested to see other people's answers with this and i just also wanted to answer my own question <laughs> so i'd say i found star kid through watching videos and it coming up my recommended and just having the time to sit down and watch and the reason I kept watching was because it was just entertaining and everybody seemed like friends and you felt that community feeling when you were watching their musicals and I think that's one of the most important things that you're passionate about what you do and that you love it so much. So yeah, that's my answer. And that does it for this video on Star Kid. Like the video if you liked it. I hope you did. Keep enjoying musicals as much as me and I will see you in the next one.